These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. For the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence, and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that every one that doeth righteousness is born of him. For many years, brothers and sisters have inquired of us about the haters of Israel United in Christ. I explained to Deacon Asaph, who's one of the best rappers in the world, believe it, that we needed a video. So I gave him my concept, the uh, message I wanted to convey to the people. Um, I had many producers on standby. We also have one of the best video production artists named Bezalel. He's like the incredible hulk of all videos. To mold the video around the music that Deacon Asaph will come with and make it happen. How many times must we check these fools, correct these fools, dissect these fools? They still run in their mouth, that's why nobody don't respect these fools. I heard the song, I loved it, and they made it happen. I wanted to deal with the scoffers first, because there are many haters against the Bible, against God, against Israel, not against Christ. And I want all you at home, brothers and sisters, to understand that the primary focus of Israel United in Christ is to teach you your nationality, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Towards the end of the video, I want all the viewers to understand that we are building a nation of kings and priests according to the scriptures, and we will not be deterred by anyone. For nothing secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad.
on the Freemasonic apron, the all-seeing eye of Horus, an Egyptian symbol. At the George Washington Masonic Monument, we see a giant compass and square depicted. The Freemasonic symbol of their great work is seen here also adorned with another Egyptian all-seeing eye. But what of the compass and square and its Illuminati symbolism? What can it mean? In the Divine Pymander is revealed the Hermetic Maxim, as above, so below, as pictured by this tarot card of a magician with one hand up and the other hand down. As above, so below. And what that means is, is that in esoteric thought, in everything that is above is reflected down below. And that everything that is down here has a supernal macrocosmic, if you will, uh, origin. And that's one of the, the essential concepts in the occult. As above, so below is repeatedly symbolized in esoteric art and a variety of symbols. The most basic of which is a triangle pointing upward or above. This is accompanied by a second triangle pointing downward, below. When combined, they form a hexagram, commonly recognized as the Star of David, one of the most dominant symbols in the occult. Removing the base of the triangles, one can see the outline for the square and compass of Freemasonry. This next image shows what Manley Hall called the God of Reflections. He is called the Ancient One, perched over a pool of water that reflects his image. Notice also how the placement of his arms and the crown upon his head form two triangles like a Star of David. While on his chest is a Maltese cross positioned upward and then reflected again down below. Esoterics believe this same principle of reflection can be found in nature, with bodies of water providing a mirror as a picture of the Hermetic Maxim. With this in mind, consider the placement of the reflecting pools in our nation's capital. Before the Washington Monument, the U.S. Capitol, the Lincoln Memorial.
he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they worshipped the sun toward the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence, and have returned to provoke me to anger, and lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. nothing secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Son of the morning, I'm gonna chase you out of earth.